has effectively choked our lagoons to death. This causeway right here will continue to choke our lagoon to death. Last night, I posed a question to everybody standing in the room. I challenge anybody in this room, including you, sir, to find me one acre of live grass south of 528. You will not find that acre of live grass south of 528 because it's not there, okay? This is a serious issue. It's not, oh, well, it's gonna be a little mitigation, a little this, a little that. This is a very serious issue. As this water goes, our area goes. And when this area goes, nobody's gonna to wanna to be here. As Mitch Roper said, this isn't Miami. This isn't New York. This is Florida. And not only Florida, but this is our Florida. And we wanna keep it that way, okay? Yeah. The hydrology and the water movement is not only essential to the seagrass movement, which is one of the reasons why you can have an area that has healthy seagrass with no, no uh, residential areas. And then just on the other side of the causeway, there's not a single bit of seagrass, okay? The water won't flow anymore. It can't carry that grass down. Just like the wind blows and moves grass and other plant, uh, other plant pollen up and down your stream, it does the same thing here and it can no longer do that, okay? With this goes the one and only area in the United States, in the entire region, that the redfish is found where redfish can breed and shore. There is no other place this happens. One area, well, two areas, well, three. Right here, right here, and then the Mosquito Lagoon right above it. I've talked to several people, tonight included, we hardly saw a spawn this year whatsoever of redfish. What does that mean five years from now when there's not a redfish to catch in the slot limit? Okay? I would really like you guys to look at the patterns and the breeding patterns of the redfish that inhabit these flats that are directly affected by any of this rail production. Um, real quick, I want to tell a story. When my dad and my aunt, who's sitting in this room, uh, lived here as children, they got to eat oysters out of the river right here, okay? I can't remember an oyster since I was a kid. When I was a kid, growing up, right over in this area, I got to eat clams. I can't show my son a clam. Am I not gonna be able to show my son seagrass? I'd also like him to be clear and concise on the fact that the court also wants to tear up a section of the no motor zone for another terminal. That is the long-term goal that is where they're going with this. It will never stop unless we stop it 